Hello Half Video Audio Stuff, welcome back today for you guys. I'm going to be continuing my How I Filmed series by showing you how I filmed the music video of Amy J's cover of Avicii's Lonely Together. I'm going to be talking you through the location, my settings, my gear, the shots I got and my colour grading process. Enjoy! Of course you should definitely watch the music video because it goes hand in hand with this video. It will be linked below so make sure you do that. Give her a thumbs up, she deserves it. I had very little time to get all the shots I wanted to get done, um, an hour and a half to be exact. So it was pretty frantic but I'm pretty pleased overall with what, what I came up with. So first up, location. As this was a more upbeat track compared to Amy's last cover, she wanted things to look decidedly more gritty, so at first I wasn't really sure where to go with location. But then I spotted a small skate park on the outskirts of a smallish town near me. I kind of figured it, it might well be deserted during the day because it seemed to me like the kind of thing that um, just school kids would go to after school. So I took a trip, scouted it out, took some pictures, and I was right. It was deserted, and it turned out it worked really well. So next gear. So I filmed the whole thing on my Sony a7S II and actually just three lenses in the end, namely my Samyang slash Rokinon uh, 35mm f1.4, my Canon 85mm f1.8 and my Tokina 16-28 f2.8 which I'm filming on right now, all of which I used either at their maximum aperture or stopped down just a tiny bit for just for a little bit extra sharpness. I also used my small HD focus, which I've done a review on recently. I also used the little aperture credit card sized LED light, which is pretty cool, just for a tiny bit of fill light. I also used my trusty Manfrotto tripod. And I'll tell you what, I'll list everything below so you can check out the exact gear that I used down there. So next, the main shots that I got. When shooting a music video of this type, I find that it's a good idea to get as many different angles as possible. Um, this video is actually, as I already mentioned, it's such a faster paced song compared to the last one that she did. And I suspected that when I got it into editing, I would want to be chopping and changing angles more frequently, which would mean I'd need more shots, more angles, and, and also more B-roll. So that's what I did. I started off with this shot to the side of Amy. And then in editing I did lots of zooming in, cropping, zooming out, just to give the illusion that the camera was on a dolly. I then stepped in a little closer just to get some handheld shots. I then had Amy walk a lap of the deepest section of the skate park. I then got a longer focal length look just to compress the background a bit more. Any lens flare that you're seeing there I made by just holding the ND filter just slightly away from the front of the lens. The sun briefly came out so I took the opportunity to get a shot over Amy's shoulder and to finish off I just got one last shot of Amy leaning against one of the slopes. After that all I needed were some cool looking b-roll shots which I got plenty of to cover any kind of mistakes or anything like that. In terms of my camera settings, which is kind of geeky but I know some of you guys like to know, I actually shot this whole video in S-Log3 which I don't normally do, it's the flattest po profile available on the Sony a7S II, but the reason I chose that is because I actually wanted the maximum amount of dynamic range in this video. Of course, at the same time, I wanted my footage to look as clean as possible, so naturally I left my ISO at its native of 1600, and I made sure that I overexposed just by about one stop, and um, I found it was looking really quite clean, so that was fine. Um, and I exposed my shots using my Genus Tech Polarizer ND, which I reviewed recently, actually, so I'll link that below as well. And next, I'll show you my chain of plugins for this video. Roll it! First of all, I added an instance of color correction just to lower the exposure a tiny bit. Then one of my favorite plugins and a staple of mine, White Balance 2 from FCP FX. And finally, onto Color Finale, in which I used the LUT utility, the color wheels, and the curves function. And of course I'm using one of my favourite lookup tables of all time, the Velocor Aspen, which I will link below. Notice I didn't use any sharpening whatsoever in camera or in post, I wanted a natural looking video. So there we go, I really hope you found that interesting, helpful and informative. Definitely check out Amy's video, it is linked below, if you, if you haven't checked it out at this point, go there now and check it out and give her a thumbs up. And that's it for now. I really hope you enjoyed that. I'll catch you next time. See you guys.